Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today's topic is going to be about Zach Wheeler and how he, big of an acquisition he was in the offseason for the Phillies. In case you missed it, Zach Wheeler, he used to pitch for the Mets. He's now a member of the Philadelphia Phillies who was signed on a 5-year, $118 million contract this past offseason. Eh, off season. Um, and now you have a legit 1-2 with Nola and Wheeler, you know? Wheeler has electric stuff, and I'll get to that later. But, Nola is your one, Wheeler is your two. That's not bad, considering last year, and the, well, the past two years, we've had Nola Arietta. Arietta's been hurt the past, who knows. He hasn't been, he just hasn't been good. He hasn't been effective, you know. Um, he's, and Wheeler, I think anybody can say is better than Zach Eflin, Vince Velasquez, Nick Pavetta. So, it's a huge upgrade. Um, huge upgrade. Overall, on the pitching staff, they still need a little bit more, in my opinion. I don't think Nola and Wheeler is going to get you, you know, far. I mean, let me rephrase that. I don't think Nola and Wheeler is enough. Um, I mean, look at the Nationals: Scherzer, Strasburg, Corbin, and they went to a Game Seven with the Astros. Yes, the Astros probably did cheat in that series, so who knows, you know. How, how much that got affected. Um, I've been seeing a lot of things on Twitter lately. Not lately, but during what during the time of the signing, talking about Wheeler's injury his, history and how it's a bad signing for us, and that is just completely false. Um, the Duke had Tommy John in the past, right? Big surgery for a pitcher. But then in 2018 to 2019, he's had over 29 starts in the past two seasons. Um, he had 182 innings in 2018 and 195 in 2019. So if anything, he's getting better. His production is going up. He's eating more innings. So I don't understand why the narrative he's not a good signing because he's injured. I don't. I don't get that. Um, and gotta thank Fangrass for this one. But budget Garrett Cole. All right, Garrett Cole got signed to a huge contract. 300. Plus, I think, yeah, I think 300 million plus, um, and we only got him for 118. And the reason I say budget Cole is they they both throw the same pitches essentially and the same amount of percent of time. All right, I have a bunch of stats right here. Wheeler throws his fastball 59.1 percent of the time. Garrett Cole throws it 53.6. Um. Wheeler has a splitter that he throws 2% of the time. Cole has a sinker that he throws 0.5% of the time. Wheeler throws his change up 9.1% of the time compared to Cole 7.4. The slider, Wheeler throws 20% of the time. Cole 23.1. And the curve, 10% for Wheeler, 15.5% for Cole. So their pitches are very similar. They have a similar repertoire. Wheeler has electric stuff. Cole has electric stuff. We already know that. Um, it's just, can Wheeler put it together? And another big stat is, when Garrett Cole was with the Pirates in 2017, he was not this pitcher that he is now. It wasn't until he went to Houston when he became a top pitcher. And these numbers as well are very, very, very similar. Cole in 2017 with Pittsburgh. A 4.26 ERA, 203 innings pitched, 196 strikeouts. Wheeler with last year with New York Mets, 3.96 ERA, 195.1 innings pitched, and 195 Ks. So Wheeler had a better ERA, one less in no point two two outs worth of less innings, um, and one less and. The per nines are insanely similar. Cole with 2017 with Pittsburgh, 8.8 .8 hits per nine. Wheeler, 9 hits per nine. Cole with the Pirates, 1.4 home runs per nine. Wheeler, 1.0 home runs per nine. Uh, Cole with the Pirates again, 2.4 walks per nine. Wheeler, 2.3 walks per nine. And finally, um, Cole, 8.7 Ks per 9. Wheeler, 9 Ks per 9. And the thing that elevated Cole's play was the chain, 
change the scenery, and a new pitching coach. Houston has a great pitching coach. I mean, cheating aside, that, that only affects the offense. The pitching has nothing to do with the cheating. Yes, they could have ratted him out, but the pitchers don't go up there and hit home runs and doubles because they bang on trash cans and stuff. Um, look, I mean, look at Verlander. Verlander gets traded. You know, he's, he's not having a bad season. He gets traded to Houston, and now look, he won a Cy Young last year. Um, and Philly's got a new pitching coach, and Bryce, Brian Price, I believe his name is? Might have got that wrong. I do believe it is Brian Price. Um, and I've been hearing a lot of good things about him. So, the hope is, I mean, their numbers are extremely similar. The pitches they throw are similar. The percent of the time they throw them are similar. So, the hope is that, um, why did I just lose my train of thought? The hope is that, um, with a new pitching coach and a new change of scenery, um, Wheeler elevates his game as well. And, I mean, it could happen. It could not, you know. But, I mean, let's be real. Great signing overall. And, yeah, that's about it. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about this one. Is Cole going to be... No, not Cole. Is Wheeler going to be the next Garrett Cole? I mean, it doesn't have to live up to it. Is he going to be, like, a budget Garrett Cole? Um... Will, will he be, like, a great pitcher for us? Will he be an average one? Love to hear what you guys think about that. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.